Live on Facebook. Nice. Only exactly 20 minutes past six. But that's no problem. None of us have anywhere to go these days anyway. Um, I'm just gonna sing something and then I'll probably briefly introduce myself. Um, but y'all have been waiting long enough for some music, so I'm just gonna <laughs> jump into it. You and little brown cars for me. Now when I'm on the street, I'm lonely. Little brown cars are all I see on the street. You ruined little brown cars for me. But I don't expect an apology. I had a common probably. But it doesn't do much for the sting. Well, you can keep your silver lining. For me, it's not so impressive. Oh, tell me that I'm colorblind. But I'm holding a crown for mildly obsessive. Somehow you ruined James Dean for me. songwriter scene, um, but I'm having a great time with it. I don't usually accompany myself, but uh, for quarantine purposes, necessity is the mother of practicing your ukulele skills. So here we are. Um, just gonna sing something else. That's what we're here for. Ahem. This song is called Ugly Cats. It's actually on YouTube. Um, the first of a few songs to maybe come up. Ugly cats don't seem to realize that they see our world through very different eyes. They're large and small and in between they're beautiful in their ugly dreams. Ugly cats are 
cats are clearly doing fine. So I entered that one into the NPR Tiny Desk concert a contest thing. Um, I did it last year. Um, and it, it was really fun. It was really cool. And people, people in that community are really supportive. So it was really awesome. Like I said, that one's on YouTube. If you wanted to go watch it, definitely not twisting anybody's arm. Um, this is my product placement for Piper and Leaf. Moments come and gone. Let's do. Let's do another song. I feel like I'm going through these so quickly, but I don't have anything very profound to say. So we might as well just. Plow, plow through them, I guess. <laughs> okay, this song is called um, I Hate Pictures. I don't actually hate pictures, but there are definitely times in my life where I look at pictures and don't love them just because of the things people do. But I try not to be overly negative in, in my songs. I like to I like to end with some sort of hope or, you know, even if I'm singing about a problem I have, I try not to just leave it at, I have a problem, because um, I think we need more positive messaging uh, in music and, and things. So I do my best, but sometimes I write songs called uh, I Hate Pictures. I hate pictures because people change. They waste your time. super profound and, and musician-y to say. I guess I could plug myself if I wanted to. Um, if you wanted to find me on Instagram or anything and you can kind of keep up to date with what I'm up to, that's probably the best way. Um, that's at, at underscore refried beans underscore. 
Um, you can ask about the refried beans thing if you want, but I won't tell you why, so just <laughs> keep that in mind. You can also follow me on Facebook. Um, I don't post as much on Facebook, but if I'm posting links to like music coming out, um, then music coming out. Okay, I can talk about that. On the 5th of every month, starting um, this month, April 5th, when I uploaded Ugly Cats, I'm actually going to be uploading a music video um, on the 5th of every month, um, starting this month with Ugly Cats. So uh, the 5th of May, uh, January, February, March, April, May, um, I'll be uploading um, a song called Looks Like Vermont, which I'm not going to sing for you today because it's way too hard for me to play on the ukulele. Um, so you're not going to hear that one, but on May 5th you will hear that one. That will be coming out. Um, I really love, I love music videos. I love um, scheming and, and plotting and, and writing those out. It's a good time for me. The next song that I'm going to sing is called, it's called Shut Up, which sounds really like musician-y and, and emo. It's, it's not that emo, I promise. Unless you're into that, then, then maybe it is. <coughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't into being emo sometimes, but... to like make them sound uh, fuller and I only know as you probably picked up on like two strumming patterns on the ukulele so we really take advantage of those in you know Meredith Meredith land over here but I, I like writing on the ukulele there's a lot of options and it's, it's easy to understand um, but I definitely enjoy hearing my music played by pianos and guitars and something a little more uh, full I guess but I think I have 
one or two more um, original songs. And then I have one cover to close us out. I have no idea how much time has passed. I, again, feel like I've been playing everything super fast, but, but that's okay. Um, it's been 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it hasn't been very long. <laughs> That's okay. This is just a, it took so long for the live to start anyway that we're just, you know, compensating our time. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'll just, you know what, I'll, I'll bust out some of the older originals and that I maybe wasn't going to do. And, and y'all can just get a taste of where I came from, my, my past here. I've only ever written one uh, love song, and it's it's fine. It's kind of simple, but I feel like I don't know. It's simple. There's nothing else I needed to add to that. That's that's just what it is. Um, but it's sweet, and I wrote it probably. This was actually one of the first songs I wrote, like maybe two years ago. Um, and I this was like the first one I like finished, and I was like. I can be a songwriter, this was easy. Uh, and now I look back on it and it's four chords, C, G, D, and G, over and over and over again the entire time. And I was like, there's a little bit more to it than that, but we have upgraded. So, <laughs> blast from the past. If I asked you to sing me a song, you'd say, darling, I can't sing for you. I'll do anything for you, but I can't sing for you. But wouldn't you be surprised if I told you that I've heard you sing to me a hundred thousand times? Cause I've heard you sing to me a thousand times. pretty dear but harmony's divine and i'll gladly give you mine if you'll clap your hands in time we can compose a little song that will last us all our lives you'll sing husband i'll sing wife and we'll sing it our whole life sing it all oh, oh. on the third Tuesday of every month um, that's the first that's the first place that I sang it and I hadn't I had not written the ending yet and so I was like playing along and I was like reading out of my book and then I got halfway through the last uh, chorus and I was like oh and so I just made up that ending and it's probably not that great the this song would be too long whatever I I, I just like pulled that out of nowhere and I was like okay that's the end and I just stuck with it like I never even went back and tried to like write a legitimate ending I just kept the one that I made up at the Piper and Leaf open mic night so oh well if it if it sticks it it sticks I guess that cracks me up 
I forgot about that. All right. We have just just the one more, and then we have my my little cover song, and then we'll be piecing out. I would definitely suggest that you, uh, if you even like a little bit what I'm doing now, you will like this stuff like with an actual band a, a lot more. I also realize every time I like get really into it, this swing moves a bunch. Stop that. All right. This one is called Saltwater Taffy Tears. This is also like one of the first ones that I wrote. This one's really like loud and shouty. That's why I saved it for last. But the ukulele really lends itself to like loud, shouty songs, especially the way I play it. I'm like, <laughs> get a lot of noise out of that thing. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'd be lying if I said I didn't like crying. People use venting in therapy, but crying is what works for me. My salt water taffy tears stream down my face like candy on my cheek, and I don't mind the taste of salt water taffy tears. Emotions I can savor on my tongue. Oh, I love the flavor of my salt water taffy tears. Cry your salt water tabby tears stream down my face like candy on my cheek and oh I love the taste love the taste of I don't actually even know what that last word is this game. Salt water tabby tears emotions I can savor on my tongue. Oh I love the flavor of my salt water tabby tears. Your bucket of feelings is hardly about, I'm gonna have to figure out what that chord was. I think it might be a G7 that I was missing, but anyway, I wrote that song because somebody, I cry, I'm a, I'm a really easy crier. I know I look like a really easy crier too, which is great, because I look like I'm 13. Um, but the, somebody told me, um, like, does it bother me that I cry so much? And it does sometimes, because like, I'm a real, like, somebody can like sprain their ankle in front of me, and I'm like, oh my gosh. But I was being kind of facetious, and I was like, no, I love crying. It's like free candy on my face. And that was kind of weird and gross, but like I turned it into this song. It's sort of like a, like why doesn't everybody, you know, cry their feelings out? Keep it all inside. It's gonna hurt. Maybe it doesn't though. And I just need to stop crying. But either way, there's a song now about it. I would love to make a music video with that one. I feel like it would be really, I don't know, man. I think it'd be really, uh, really colorful and fun but it's definitely not the style of music that I'm writing now it's very different from like the because I have like a musical theater background sort of so I think like my old music is very like you know story telly kind of and like you know more of a belting style and my music now is very much more low-key and <laughs> not as not as shouty I almost held this up and I was like, not a sponsor, but like kind of a sponsor, I guess. Sarah Jane asked for a quadruple encore. I don't, I can't play that many songs. I like legitimately cannot. <laughs> Everybody's like, no, it's fine. You're not as bad as you think you are. I'm like, I run out of options real fast. That's really sweet though, because I love your music. So don't, don't freak me out. It's like Beyonce is watching me on a live stream. If I, 
yeah, I don't really listen to Beyonce. More like if like Cynthia Erivo is like watching, ooh, that would freak me out. I'd probably pass out or something. I don't, I, I really, I had some more songs that I was gonna do, like some more covers, and I tried to play them. Like I had Forever Young by Alpha Bill, cause that's like one of my favorite songs I gig with. But when I gig with it, I'm not playing it. So I was like, it's, it was too hard, I couldn't do it. It changed, it changed chords too fast. Um, but anyway, this is my last song that I'm gonna play. Um, Y'all need to seriously keep up. This is only episode one of Piper and Leaf Quarantunes. There are gonna be other artists doing this um, throughout these times that we live in. Um, so keep an eye out for those because Huntsville has so much to offer in the singer-songwriter department. Um, and I'm really excited to see everybody else's already because I feel like some good people are gonna get involved or they should get involved Tag people that you know in this and, and, and get them, get them over here. It's just nice to be able to perform too, you know, in times where it's not an easy thing to do, but. <clears throat> now that I've shouted my voice out, let's do this last song. Oh, I'll tell you what the last song is since it's a cover. Um, it's called Day by Day and I don't, it's from the musical Godspell um, by Stephen Schwartz. I think like DC Talk did a cover of it at some point and did their DC Talk thing to it and so it's more like a bop. Um, in the Stephen Schwartz musical Godspell it's not, it's not as much of a bop, it's more of just a really, you know, beautiful song and I think like right now, I've been playing this song a lot uh, and not to get like weird and feely about it but like we are kind of going day by day at this point and you know taking things as they come so so I, I love this song for that reason and I think it's really encouraging it's a little repetitive so bear with me but I have a good time with it <coughs> day by day to get to you know perform and actually sing something uh, for people to consume since that's been really hard uh, 
during this time. So thank you guys for, for joining. I feel like this camera is also, there's people there also, but I keep only looking at this one. So thank you guys too. Thank you to everyone who, who, who watched this. It was really fun. Like I said, there are going to be more artists doing it, so keep a lookout for, for those people because there are people that are much more competent with instruments than I that will be doing stuff, and we know we would love to see that. So, um... <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. See you kids around or something. still willing to jump in the pool if that's on the table. Unless people aren't on the Facebook anymore, then it would be a waste of time. Uh, you've got currently about 10 people. 10 people? On Facebook. Y'all want to watch me jump in the pool? Because I, I was kind of saying that that was something that I was going to do. Hang up right when I jump in the pool. This is not going to be pretty when